There were, of course, many reasons why people start a new hobby. I started my journey into the world of bonsai from the perspective of being an artist. The concept of making a living sculpture was intriguing to me. So at the very beginning, I saw it as an art form and I only saw it as an art form. But being good at art doesn't make you successful at bonsai. There are other skill sets needed, most important of which is horticulture. A couple years ago, my ratio of time put into my trees was focused 90% on the creative stuff and 10% on taking care of them. But slowly I learned, and what I mean by that is I killed a couple trees. So I've learned to focus less on the design part and more on the nurturing end of things. The definition of horticulture is the art or practice of garden cultivation and management. So let's take a look at all the different aspects of horticulture. Right off the bat, you got the most important one, watering. It's the number one reason we get into trouble with our trees. You either overwater it or underwater it. Nutrition is next. Understanding the balance of nitrogen, potassium, and potash and other trace elements. Next is soil. Bonsai grow in a mix of rocks, clay, and organic matter. You've got to understand the balance. Identification. Understanding each species of tree that you have and their unique requirements. Very important. Planting. There's a time to repot that sometimes is very unique to certain species. You have to know when to repot them so you don't hurt them. And basic plant biology. You've got to understand how the vascular system of a plant works and how photosynthesis works. I've set up a checklist and hopefully I'm honestly assessing myself here, but here's how good and bad I think I am at each of these elements. And now looking at it, I see where I need to focus my learning. I see a lot of future videos here. Okay, so horticulture is obviously critical, but if you don't focus on designing your trees as well, you're going to end up with a very healthy, but very boring looking bonsai. We have to have our heads wrapped around all the art school basics. Line, form, composition, color, texture, shadow and highlights, symmetry, asymmetry, negative and positive space. All this stuff applies to bonsai as well. Without a doubt, it is an art form. And beyond these art fundamentals, you must be a student of nature. Look at trees as you walk by them. Ask yourself, well, why does that tree look interesting or why doesn't that tree look interesting? Take what you observe and apply it to your designs. Nature is, as they say, the best teacher. Well, by now you know that the title of this video is a trick question and the answer is both. Curious to read how your own personal balance of design versus nurture has changed over the years. Talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.